Right, so we're going to start the stream here with Control. I've already played a little bit of the game, but um, let's see how it goes. So far, it's pretty good. I've got Manga HUD running, just for those of you who are wondering, I'll show you which settings I'm using at the moment. Turn up the audio a little bit. Cool, let me just uh, get grips with all the controls here. Okay. Started playing with controller, then I realized that uh, I'm going to be shooting quite a bit, so I swapped over to mouse and keyboard. Uh, I have to access the. Ah, I think it was M. There we go. Um, cool. So you collect a whole bunch of stuff. Um, quite a lot of reading. I don't know if you actually get like a achievement if you read all of this stuff. But um, yeah, you you pick up quite a lot of a lot of reading material in the game. Storyline so far is very cool though. Yeah, this was Just look uh, at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. 80 kilobytes, eh? <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, Wham. the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Yeah. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. Forgot I had it's my... It's an object of power. Well, o -P. Yeah. Oops. O -O -P okay, or it can oops. launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. So excited about launching a cup. Yeah. Um, yeah, I must say... <laughs> I don't know what I think about his acting, but um, if he's deliberately acting in such a such a way, but yeah, I don't know. Pretty cool. So I'm running in pretty high settings. Um, I'll show you the settings just now. I'm actually going to change it because the recording. It's where's this dude? Where's this other guy? Where's Mr. Shooty Shooter? like grab anything throw it at him okay so with the recording it's definitely struggling um, I was getting a good solid 60 <laughs> uh, but yeah let, let me go and change change some of the settings for you guys um, I'm running it in borderless because otherwise OBS I don't know there's, a, there's an issue with OBS um, if I run it in full screen but yeah the render resolution I did set set down low so what what I'm gonna do is now, because we're recording and I think the graphics card is just taking a strain, I'm gonna do uh, normal canvas size and then I'm gonna set all of these to medium. Um, and let's see how that goes. Uh, obviously we're not doing any of the ray tracing stuff, you know, 1060, but uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see, let's see if that's any better. Doesn't seem to be. I don't know if it's not liking the fact that I'm taxing my CPU ever so slightly with the OBS. I'm not using a capture card or anything. I'm streaming directly from this PC, so it might take a little bit of fiddling around. But uh, yeah, let's turn VSync off. Off. Uh, let's play at 720p. I mean, medium 720p should be fine. Let's see what what that does for us. Much better, much better. Okay, still looks decent. I mean, the storyline is really uh, good. 
good, so I wouldn't go and really complain too much if you got to play it at lower graphics. But I must say, the telekinesis is awesome, man. Seriously. That's the last object of power I got was that floppy disk, so not too far into the game. I need to look at my map, which is tab, not M. Um, and then I need to get to the mail room. Do I need to get to the mail room? That's actually what I wanted to check. Oh, no, that's it. Missions. There we go. Um, Defeat his corrupted Tomas. Oh, that dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, never mind. That's where I stopped last time. Okay, so he is in the mail room as far as I can remember. So, we, how did I get to the mail room last time? Going to this, should be stairs. So I think I go down, then that way, and then up the stairs or something. I don't know. Let's see. Ah, I keep pressing M for map. Ugh. Okay. Anyhow, uh, got some health. I actually need to make sure I get those. Right. So. How did I get to the mail room? How did I get to the mail room? Different central executive. Ah, uh, maybe it's through here. Nope. That's the cafeteria. Dang it. I think I need to go into dead letters. It's really got an eerie vibe to it. Ooh, what's that? Ah, how do I get in there? Ah, oh, there's a door. Oh, shit. Sorry, wrong button. My bad. I pressed E instead of F. Um, I guess that's one way to get into a place. Just bust through. Didn't do that I didn't even think of it. I mean, obviously you could do that, but I didn't really think of it. I don't know if it's worth collecting all of these uh, documents. I'm guessing it would be. Okay, right, this this room is. Oh, I just thought she was gonna turn it off. What? <laughs> what the heck is this? Special kit. Uh, oh, it's carrying on. Okay. What the heck? Yeah, a lot of these documents we're finding, it's like, a lot of stuff is blacked out, so... Wonder who did the voice acting for this. Sure, this has some important part of the story. Okay. Oh well. Do, 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 do. Oh, that door. Okay. Oh crap. Ugh. I just watched the video on a TV. You don't need to come kill me for that. So a lot of other people they, they love using the uh what's it the melee it is quite cool the melee though to be honest communications department yeah i think it was through here no 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 it wasn't ah oh, i can't remember how to get to the newsroom cafeteria was it through here 
genetics. Yeah, there was an event right here, if I remember correctly. And then you had to go through here to the mail room. Yeah, it was in the mail room. Okay, so this, let me just uh, give you a full disclaimer. I'm bad at games, so uh, we're about to approach one of the first bosses. I think that it, I think it's a boss, anyways. And uh, I really suck at, at it, so so wish me luck. It's through yeah, it's through here. Wish me luck. This is like the boss dude, and he dodges. He dodges literally all your stuff. And while you're fighting him, trying not to die, a whole bunch of other dudes spawn as well, so... Maybe I can hit him at close quarters, close range, I don't know. Um, ooh, maybe a couch. Can you dodge a couch? Oh, that dude can't dodge a couch. At least the telekinesis is uh, an easy way of... Yeah! Okay, let's go get some health. I know I killed that dude down there, so... Oh! Okay, well... Yeah, as you can see, I'm, 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 not, I'm not the best at these types of things. That's so why I, I didn't get very far in that. Uh, Dark Souls either, so. But I won't give up in this one. I'll I'll carry on. Carry on trying and persevering. Thinking of new strategies. Um so yeah. Let's see. Uh, start here now again. So wh what was it? It was communications department through here. Run 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 run. It obviously like saves some of the progress because this when you get here originally there's a like a whole event happening here and over here um, get out of my way okay uh, all right so I need to strategize I think before I get in Ooh, what's that oh no come on mate. I just wanted to come and collect that document, man. There's no need to want to shoot me. Where's this dude? Where's this dude? Where's this dude? Okay. Don't know what those are for. I guess I'll find out a bit later. Uh, okay, so I'm full health, at least. Let's uh, let's see if I can get in there. Okay. Am um, I ready, kids? Yes. I'm so ready. Never been more ready. Right. See, I should have thrown something at him there while he was uh They can fly now. Great. Yo, when he when he does hit you, it takes like half your health, eh? Come on, come on. Ow! Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna beat this thing, eh? I really don't. Other than just running around the whole flipping farm, looking, waiting until those other dudes spawn. Maybe. And then, ah! Oh! And then, uh, get some health. But, uh, I think let me just prep myself with something heavy. And then I can't dodge as much. Come on. I need to maybe damage him a little. Oh I tried to I tried to step sideways for that one. I really did. I really did. If you're watching this and you're like, dude, seriously, you're missing the point completely. Um <laughs> please uh please help me out. Uh type in the chat or the comments or something, please. Help me out. Give me a strategy. Because this is ridiculous. Okay, here we go again for the six million thumb. Huh? 
mail room. Okay, and here we go. <sighs> maybe I should just shoot him as much as I can and dodge him as much as I can. Maybe that's maybe that's what I need to do. So. It seems like he is vulnerable when uh, he's got stuff. Ow! Dang it! He hits me no matter what, hey? Okay, I'm gonna wait, wait. Ah, nope. Oh, man. And here we go again. This dude is reading. Maybe I should change the title to, uh... I tried to play Control, but I really suck. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> let's see, is my thing on the stream? Oh, yeah, it would be different on the screen. Eh? Yeah, let's quickly check. Righto, let's try again. Communications department. Oh, seriously, this didn't—they did not not spawn like the last six minute time. Very effective against shields. I like how she just grabs whatever uh, you know is available, even though you're not specifically. Even though you're not specifically. You know, aiming for something. I need health. Really need health. Pick, he's got a shield. That is super, super effective against shields. Now, let's see. Uh, is he dead? Yes, he is. Okay, now I need to collect health before I go. Before I go battle the boss man again. Oh, so frustrating. Do I basically need to go and pick a fight? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if the, anybody spawns. Yep, still don't have clearance for that, I don't think. Um, let's see if anybody spawns. I know the boss isn't here, but um, I'm just looking for... Someone to spawn so I can kill them, so I can get some health. Some health. Is there a difficulty setting in this game? Because if there is, um, I'm probably already playing on the easiest settings, so... Yeah, it just shows you how... How, how, how bad I am at, at playing games. It takes me a while to actually uh, get used to them and realize, you know, what the heck I need to do. Let's actually check that. Is there difficulty settings? Gameplay. That would if it was here, it would be here. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's assist mode? Gameplay assist settings. Okay, well, that's very uh very descriptive. Okay. Oh, okay. So here we got enhance aim assist and recovery multiplier. Ooh, that that might help. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, well, I, I obviously I tried playing without assist mode, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna <clears throat> I just play these games for the stories, man. I, <laughs> even like Tomb Raider, I just played for the for the like the storyline. I don't really play for the combat and all that. I don't really need that or that. Energy recovery multiplier. That seems good. Multiplier for energy recovery. Higher value makes energy recover faster and reduces the delay before recovery starts. Yeah, we could <coughs> just just wind that up. Uh, damage reduction. Multiplier for incoming damage. Higher value makes Jesse Jess Jess Jesse Jess takes less damage from incoming hits and other sources. Let's bump that up. Ammo recovery multiplier. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just let's just quit. Immortality. Um, that's interesting. Whew. Let's maybe enable that as well. I mean, while I'm cheating, I might as well just go go full full at it. I don't know if I'll enable this. Um, nah, let's leave that. I think that'll make it just too easy. 
Okay, so let, let's see how it goes with the uh, changes I've made. They should they should make this like your save point. You know what I mean? I can fly now. Great. Still gonna try and dodge these things. Hey, standing here actually helped. He's obviously the most vulnerable when he's got, you know, when he's actually using the telekinesis. Ow, okay, that hit me. You can see the damage is greatly reduced. Now, Wait until he's got something. There we go. Okay, then he's for he basically forces himself to dodge. Which Which then delays it, but he still manages to dodge all the kit telekinesis. Oh man, that was a bad throw. Ooh, was that true? I that I hit. Okay, oh, I made it this far. On skill alone, remember guys. Skill alone. Did not enable anything in the options menu. I have a feeling he'll be back. No, really, eh? Let's stay focused. He's like not the dead and probably super pistol. So. Okay, what did she say? I should really learn to listen. Uh Hotline chamber, hotline, hotline, yeah, I think that's where we're going, yeah? We're trying to look for the phone, the phone, hotline chamber, hotline chamber, this way. I guess it's up here, and then possibly up here, ah, oh, hello. What is this? Ah, no, sorry, wrong buttons, I keep pressing them. Alright, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated be by the down? relevant authorities. Mm -hmm. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds that all the items will show up inside a U.S. embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Man, are you still recording this? Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Wow. That... Look at that frame time all of a sudden. Yo. And it's back to stable. The moment that Steam overlay popped up, uh... Got a bit jaggedy there. Ooh, what's this? That's one of those chamber things. Reminds me of Borderlands. You know, same sort of like crate. Obviously, completely different styling, but same same kind of crate. Uh, yeah. Hotline chamber this way. Yeah, that's where the I want to go. Hotline can't be far now. No, it can't. Really, it can't. I've followed like three signs, so it must be close. Yay! Hotline chamber. Let's find the hotline. Where is this damn thing? I can hear it ringing. Let's just get uh, all the documentation. I'll read it later. Must be through here. Run, 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 run. Yep, it's definitely. Dang, okay, that was like a jump. No. 
I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Let's say, even with like medium settings on 720p, the game looks quite nice. I uh, don't know what it's like on the stream Hello? at the moment. Anyone um, here? I think my preview is set to some rubbish quality thing um, here on the preview, but I don't know. I hope it's looking alright for you guys. All well, the six, 6 million people who are watching. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I pressed this six million times. Aha, uh -huh, okay. That's interesting. Every time you fuzz the thing image, a door opens. I wonder if they open on that side as well. Doesn't seem to be doing it. Okay, so it's definitely this side. So I think maybe let's start with this one. Hello! Nothing. Absolutely nothing in here. Not one th Oh, there's a coffee machine. Uh, yeah, I mean the lighting is good even though even without ray tracing I think they they've made it look pretty decent. Okay, next room. Okay, so I've done, done triple two. Was there a number that I needed to remember? I don't know. Maybe that'll help speed things up. Okay, so it's opened all the doors on the left side so far. Ah, oh, there we go. What's this? Key. The key has a black pyramid. A black pyramid, on it. that's what he said, eh? A black pyramid. So I need to look for the door now, I believe. That is just that just says casino. I believe I need to look for a door. Now let's just let's just see if it opens any other doors. No, it just opens the same ones on this side. So, but there was no black pyramids or nothing in these rooms, so it's cool. Um, so now the door with the black pyramid. Black pyramid. Black pyramid. Black pyramid. Um, might as well enable VSync while we're getting above the uh, 60, 60 frames is. I wonder if there's like a config file or something that you can set it to 900p. Uh, that would be cool. Because it only really gives you those options. It's either full or half, bro. Like full HD or just HD, or AD let's see. So let's go door with the thingamajigger on it. Black pyramid. Janitor. No other doors. Must be one of these. Okay, these have symbols on them. That could be a pyramid from top down view, although it's rectangular, so it must be this door that I tried earlier. Do, 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 do. This kind of reminds me of, uh, of something like a Linux distribution, I'm, I'm pretty sure. One of the Linux distros have. Uh, like a spiral thingy jigger, kind of reminds me of it. I think it's the Bion. Debian, however you want to pronounce it, I think. But hey, okay. Just want to check something. Yeah, okay, now my mic is on. Again, I was supposed to look at the pictures. Okay, so pay, paying attention to this, there's like a, a walkway in like a building, the rail moving towards like a room. That's probably where the where the telephone is. So um, okay, let's see if we can get. There's like a big 
poster on the side. Same thing. Dang, okay, cool. Hey, look, it's this room, I think. Let's answer the phone. Just run up and answer it, straight up. Don't even check the booby traps. Okay, unknown power. Every time you get a power, you gotta complete some sort of a challenge on the actual planes. Jumpy jumps. Maybe this is a jumpy jump. That looks nice. I'm just gonna shoot it. Hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Okay. Interesting. Really need need to move my manga hood. Okay. I don't know if I was supposed to be standing still or you know what the problem is. It was damaging me in there, but it was like I didn't know if it was gonna go into a cutscene or what. So sorry, guys. Sorry for all that flashing. Okay. Let's just go elsewhere then. Oh shit. Um. I must be doing something wrong. I don't know. Am I just supposed to dodge them? Ah, oh, okay, now I'm supposed to just run. Can you hear the telephone? It doesn't connect to any typical network. His a direct is line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions, to other planes of existence as well. Interesting. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Nosebleed. Okay. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. Okay, Steam, go it's away with all your stuff. It's making echo. me lag, first of all, and an I didn't see what it said. It said press G, so maybe I should just press I need G. To get back to Emily. Let's get back to Emily, yeah. Personal mods. Health recovery. I don't really need these after you know I changed all the settings, but um, oh, these are all the same. I'll just do that one. What's happening here? Why do I? Okay, there we go. What's this? This was the rate of fire boot. What's this? Okay. 
Please have to shut. See what grip that is. Weapon mods grip. Okay, so lower firing ring, fire ring rate, but better. Uh, People react strongly images. when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She Probably. might be able to help. Probably not. I'm supposed to go back this way, all right? Oh, there's a door that opened. That wasn't open earlier. Must be a shortcut. Yep, this is the office. That's a shortcut. Yeah, this is where we picked up the gun. And I think it was Central Executive that we need to go to. I'm gonna try and rely on my brain instead of... Yep. Instead of, um... Looking at the map constantly. Yeah, it was this way. Running, 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 running. Uh, was it through here? No. Ah, it was up there. The boardroom. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss. <sighs> Sorry. It's all messed it. up. I'm glad. Emily. It's all messed up. Let's talk. Of course. Let's talk. I got talk. the hotline. I can make out what Judge is saying now. Incredible. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Why do I have a feeling that Helen Marshall is head of operations? The head of security is going to be uh, possessed as well. And he's she be took her boss. rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. Mm. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no, no training, training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? No. I don't know. No. Nah. She might find out about you. Better you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Okay, so that's very interesting. I'm only gonna be playing for like another maybe ten minutes. Uh, then uh, I gotta go uh, do other things, unfortunately. But if you like uh, me streaming, if you're interested in gaming on Linux. Um, you want to see more please like and uh, subscribe that would be that would be awesome and uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to play in particular anything you'd like me to try out um, so yeah <laughs> just let me know uh, apologies if the stream isn't the absolute bestest quality uh, I'm still very new to all the settings and everything so uh, yeah but according to YouTube, the connection is excellent, so yeah. Dang, look at this place. Mm. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, sure, that steam overlay really hits the, the frame rate hard. I don't know if it's just because we're uh, using the NVENC encoder or what the problem is. I actually need to double check that I am using that encoder and not this CPU. Do you CPU. hear that? Someone's oh. singing. Where is it coming from? Hi, 
Hi, Jesse. Okay, now, now, now we, now we at the point where I can ask her some questions. What the hell is going on over here? Um, Hedron resonance amplifiers. Let's go. So with that. HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began to realize my as soon as I got it. Something was going to happen. Seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? Very. I thought that suspicious. too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Yeah. Origin of the hiss. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is I think she's lying. Berlin. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex. Didn't she experience it when she was a kid? to other places as oh. well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. With you on that, Emily. Mm, absolutely. <clears throat> Let's not <laughs> talk about that too much. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. Did I literally no, just click the same thing? Ah, oh, apologies, guys. Dang. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Sorry, guys. Pretty shitty world out there, if you ask me. But I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. With you on that, Emily. <sighs> okay, so. Oh, I see. It's because it was the first one that was still highlighted. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. I'm still not sure what this thing is inside of her. Maybe I didn't pay attention in the beginning, but hey. This I'll trench it out, guy. I, guess. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? exactly. This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peritilitarian sense. Peritilitarian sense. Did she memorize this? Probably, uh, yeah, yeah, she did. Got it. Got it. That, Thanks. That made so much sense. <laughs> A hectic man. Right. Anyhow, uh, so let's exit here. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. And then. <laughs> Just let me know. Let's explore a little bit further. So again, I need to move Mango Head. Seriously, it says search for a way into the maintenance sector. Okay, collectibles. Ooh. So many things to read. This one is actually uh, not very uh, deducted. 
but uh, you can see, ah, oh, most of these aren't, but some of the reports are, and that's fine. I'm trying to find one that's like heavily redacted. There was one that like was very, very much redacted. Um, let's see, uh, it might have been a case file. There you see some more redaction, some more redaction. Quite a lot of redaction on that one. Uh, but yeah. Like, when I started playing, I, I, I read all of this stuff, and like, I'm sure it will like give you a bit of a better understanding of what's going on, but where's this unread thing? Book club. They have a book club. Nice. Multimedia. All right, take this down. Okay, now that we listen to. That was weird enough. Don't want to watch that again. <laughs> and the hotline. Okay, so we got hotline here. We got control points, hotline. No, okay, so this is just media basically. Okay. It's just like you can replay some of the stuff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Yeah. Where was the elevator? I don't remember where this is. I played it like days ago. Where's the elevator? Elevator. Where's the elevator? That side? Is it here? Is it down here? Yeah. Yes, it is. Nope, it's not. That's not the elevator. What's, where's the elevator? Oh my goodness. Uh. Taking charge, yeah. New director? That's me. I'm the new director. Okay, I need to find the elevator. Is it down here? Yay, sector elevator. Okay, he's got quite the accent. Um, eh. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. The janitor. The janitor. The janitor is a friendly face. Okay, cool. Uh, that's a good tip. So when you use your telekinesis on the way to you, it will also smash through enemies and stuff. Pretty good. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Probably. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? I wish I had so many people to guide me as she does. Actually, technically, I guess I do. Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. I wonder if you can use it to break windows. You can! Yeah! From the other side! That's a lot of fun. Okay. No, seriously, come on. Let me in. I like busted this window. I want in and I want to go through the window. There we go. Yeah. Screw you. Righto. 
Don't need clearance when you can just break the whole flipping thing. Just break in, man. We've got telekinesis. This is, this is, this is open asset. There we go. I wonder if I should listen to these again. Maybe I'll get like more information or something. I don't know. But yeah, let's just go. I'm in the maintenance sector, just messing the whole place up here. I'm sure, the janitor won't mind. What's this? Oh, it's one of those uh, floor trolley things. Is there any way I can put it down nicely or do I have to launch it? Because I have to launch it. Oh well. Now it's at least in the correct position. Not all upside down and stuff. Cool, I, I'm guessing I'm going this way with the red lights. Ventilation, janitor's office. Okay, janitor's office. Is this the phone? Oh, right, so let's see. The directorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? Hmm. Well, now nah, I don't know. Let's just run and see what happens, I guess. Woo! Ventilation Genesis office. Let's go to the Yarnitor office. Wow. Ah, oh, that hits the dude. Oh, I need to get away from there. Boom! at you man yeah, you gotta be uh, aware of your of like the space around you right your things can hit those things and Cleanse the control point. <sighs> okay, these control points, I believe, act as uh, checkpoints as well. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to play on Linux. Um, or if you want me to try a different uh, disk show. I don't know if I'll be able to go through all the trouble of installing that. But hey, uh, maybe I would. Maybe I wouldn't. Let me know. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye.